Do you have a system that is simple and easy to trade with? A system that'll make you a 10 times better trader? Well, come and have a look at my systems today with me. Let's go into the office and let's go and talk about what I do. And perhaps that will help you become an, a better trader. I've been doing this for a long time. I've been doing this for over 30 years. And today I want to go into the charts with you. And I want to show you on a technical analysis basis how you can become a better trader by using simple strategies and not throwing loads and loads and tons and tons of indicators onto your charts. This is actually a really big issue, overcomplicating your trading. There's so many systems out there and so many other guru traders that are out there trying to promote to you their Lambos and their fancy Ferraris and all this BS in their portfolios that are like nine times out of 10 anyway. <laughs> it's all BS guys. At the end of the day, all you gotta do is learn a simple strategy that's not gonna overcomplicate things and keep you in the right direction. Now I had a question from one of you guys just recently requ requesting or asking about whether we trade the news or should we use fundamentals and, and actually from more than one person if i think about it it's it's an interesting topic should we trade on the news and i'll make a full-on video about this but just quickly just to say to you that i've actually reduced over the years the amount of effort that i put into fundamentals on a day trading or swing trading basis i do use the fundamentals heavily on investing and in equity but that's more for the financials to understand the uh, price to earnings ratios the dividend yields who's the ceo where's the company going in the future that's important you need to know these things these are things that are important to investing in an equity because you want to know whether the company is going to do well or whether it's going to be gone on monday morning that, that's quite important to you but fundamentals on a day trading or swing trading basis are kind of worthless to you unless it's a serious event so what i do with serious events like let's say the Fed chairman is having a chat in the US and I'm trading on the US index or I'm trading the US dollar or something to that effect. Then what I'll do is I'll trade out 15 minutes before they talk and trade back in 15 minutes after because then everything settles. The thing is, you are not allowed to or shouldn't know what they're going to say because if you do, you're probably inside a trading. And if you can inside a trade, that's fantastic. I'm really happy for you. But 99% of people don't know what that Fed chairman is going to say and which way the market's going to go. And what you'll find in most products, particularly the indexes, for example, you'll find the thing will have a big green bar and then it'll have a big red bar. It'll jump up and down eventually it settles back where it started unless of course there's a serious change or if a war breaks out that makes a huge difference wars breaking out can make a huge difference to your trading so keep one eye on it but don't trade on the news because you might as well be going to a casino let's be perfectly honest if you go to a casino you've probably got better odds than trading against what somebody's going to say or whether there's a war that's going to break out tomorrow or uh, and uh, you know what guys these things always happen over the weekend it's the worst possible scenario they always happen over the weekend i heard a story about a, a guy who's a trader who's whose friend was a trader who was a very 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 successful trader get trading just like you and me doing day trading swing trading that sort of thing left his trades in on a friday afternoon thinking well they're good trades. I'm going to leave them here till Monday morning. And the 2008 crash happened over the weekend again. And on Monday morning, he was bankrupt. So be very careful of that. Watch out for that scenario. Don't leave all your eggs in over the weekend if you can help it. Those rules are out there nine times out of 10 for a reason. Mostly the, the prop firms come out with those rules quite often. I don't trade prop firms. I am going to do a video on prop firms for you guys. I'm not a big fan of prop firms because there's too many of them closing and there's too many red flags and governments are investigating them and some of them are not paying out. There's a big thing about just to name a name. I heard that Apex is having a problem at the moment. And if this keeps on happening, there's definitely an underlying problem with these prop firms. I have done a video about them before, but I'm going to do another one and we're going to talk about that as well. But I really am rambling on and you guys want to go and have a look at the charts. Guys, before we get to the charts, let's just mention that trading is risky. 80% of traders do lose money and if you don't like risk and you don't like losing money rather don't trade don't forget pop down to the description get your free forex book totally free not asking you for anything and also while you're there trade of the day every single day on the blog 
there's a trade of the day there i also make a video for the members every day if you're interested in that grab that as well so without further ado guys let's go and go to the charts and 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 let's go and have a look at the systems what i'm going to talk about today is top down trading very much go to the higher time frame and bring it down and have a look at as you go down what the trend is in the in, in the in the chart and when to trade but we're basically trading support and resistance as you know but let's get to it let's get to the charts so here we are on the charts and let's just see what we've got here is gold now if you were going to trade gold for example i just happened to be on this chart because it happens to be a trade of the day and the trade of the day today was actually gold okay great now, when you see this chart, please understand that it's live for me as we stand at the moment. See, it's counting down on the on the four hour chart here, but it's not live for you on the day. This happened a few days ago because I've made the video in advance. This is a training video. I'm showing you how to trade. This is not a live trade, so don't try and take this trade as such. If you want to take a trade, follow my systems. We will do some live trading in the future. We will get to it. We'll do some live trading and we'll have a bit of fun and all the rest of it. But I'm only going to do that when we've got like maybe 50,000 or 100,000 subscribers on the channel. And it's really worth having a live video because firstly, guys, I've got to figure out how to do a live video. Obviously, on top of that, uh, it's, it's got to be worthwhile having a live video out there as well. I don't want to be talking to one person. I might as well do that on the phone or on a WhatsApp group or on a uh, I don't know. You guys have Telegram groups and all that sort of thing as well. I don't have those sorts of things. I'm sorry. We, we're not. I'm not the Lambo guy. Anyway. Let's get to it. Let's talk about uh, what we can do on a chart like this. So now what I want to talk about is top down trading. So what you've got to do, always go to the higher time frame. So you go to the day in this case, because you were trading on the four hour and you have a look at what's on the day. Now, what I will normally do is I'll take it to a line chart because on the line chart, you can get the closing prices for your support levels and your resistance levels and your trend levels. So you draw your trend in, you draw your resistance in. If you're using, I'm using trend on this particular product because you can see there is a trend and I always use my support levels and my resistance levels. I don't need a resistance level in here so much because this is pretty much at the top. Now take it back to the candle chart. Now what you do is you see you've got a bullish phase here on the day chart. So now we know that gold in general is a bullish trade. It's not bearish because the bearish trade has not broken trend only when it gets below this trend line has it actually broken its trend it actually needs to get below this this support level and then you can say it's clearly broken its trend and it's no longer bullish it's now bearish for example but what you do is then you take it down to a time level that you want to trade on so now we take it down to the four hours on the four hours if you look at the four hour you've still got a bullish trend but there's a slight bearish trend developed within the four hour but we know that it's bullish so we want to be long on this product we don't want to be short because on the day it's showing us a bullish trend that hasn't broken so that says this is effectively overall a bullish product but in the short term it has turned slightly bearish but if you trade bearish on this if you trade short on this you have to be in and out really quickly what you got to watch out for on the four hour for example is over here there is a supply of money lying around here and how do we know that guys how do we know that from the last videos i showed you there's big three red, three big red bars and a few more going down from this green bar that tells you there's money lying here waiting to be taken out it could come into this and then go back out but if you want to trade on the one hour, you can go back to the one hour chart as well. And then you'll see on the one hour chart. Okay, let's see what we've got on the one hour chart. On the one hour chart, you've got a very similar sort of scenario or situation. There's your resistance at the top there. And there's your support at the bottom. Here's your trend line from the day chart. Now, it looks like it's a little bit bearish over here, but that's that's a, that's a supply of money that's lying there. So if you're trading on the hour, you could go long on this and get up to this and get your, your trade out and probably come back short down to here again and bounce around. On the hour, you're going to get much shorter trades, much quicker trades. But if I look at this, I'm a little bit worried about that doji. That could be implying that it could turn around and go short. That said, that's not a big deal. You know, you're in the middle here on the hour chart. I'd still go long because on the day, top down trading, on the day, it's still 
actually bullish so your odds on that this could possibly still go long it's still a bullish trade and even if you go down to the 15 minutes i'm not going to go to 15 seconds that's absolutely nuts but let's let's go down here to the 15 minute chart you can still see your trend line on the 15 minute chart and then you can start looking at oh look here on the 15 minutes you've actually got a trade right there on the 15 minutes you could actually be getting it getting a bit of a short out of this down to this level the support down here so yeah if it if it goes into this demand of money in the 15 minutes you could get a trade back down to about this level 2378 and then bounce back up and carry on going long but bear in mind guys that overall on the day what we saw was that the trade is bullish so that's what you've got to watch out for even though you're going down the time frames they don't all have to conform but you know that the the overall winning time frame is the higher time frame if the higher time frame Frame is telling you that the trade is bullish then the trade is bullish if all the lower time frames have turned bearish then it might turn bearish on the higher time frame because there has been a, a sentiment change or something to that effect but generally i go with what the higher time frames told me and then i look down because you see if you look on the 15 minute here you can't really tell 100 whether this is bullish or bearish what you can see is it's trading in a range there's a range it's in a range it was bullish up here and now it's sitting in a range what does that tell you it tells you there's a flag pattern developing here a rather large flag pattern and it's going to carry on going long but it's very difficult to see that on the 15 minute chart but if you look on the day chart suddenly it all becomes clear well not that clear there right <laughs> But look here, suddenly that all becomes clear and it looks like something that you could possibly trade. So that's how you look at the charts top down. So that's how you trade the charts top down. And that's how we work with it. It's not that difficult not that complicated you don't have to over complicate the issue every time you trade so next video that i'm going to do for you guys which is probably on on wednesday is i'm going to show you how to maximize your profits and how to look at your entries and the size of your entries what what size how much entry should i put in to a trade we're going to discuss that in the next video so don't forget to come and have a look at it come and check it out next wednesday it's a really important topic and it's a topic we all need to discuss. So guys, with that, I'd like to thank you for watching. And don't forget to watch the last videos. And like I say, come back for Wednesday's videos. It's really, really, really important. And do me a favor, pop the subscribe button while you're at it. Till next time, guys. Cheers. Thanks and bye.